We're on lesson 5.1 and we're going to be exploring what, make, what makes triangles congruent. This is actually a revisit of a thing that we learned back in lesson 3.3. So I'm not going to go too much into detail on the explaining, or I'm not going to go into it at all for explaining one. I'm just going to jump straight into the problems here. What we should have uh, realized in the last credit uh, in lesson 3.3 is that um, the curriculum designers, in all their wisdom, for whatever reason, always puts things in order. So uh, what do I mean by that? Well, if we look at this first triangle, um, uh, alphabetical order is R, S, T, and I'm just going to number these in the order that they are, right? So R is first, S is second, T is third. And then, um, uh, so there's that. So if we look at the other triangle, we have UVW. So I'm going to label this. Uh, let's change colors just so we're clear. This is a different triangle, but this one's first. This one's second, and W is third. And so um, if we line up the um, the numbers, right, instead of just looking at the letters, sometimes I find it easier to just line up the numbers, right? So one goes with one, which means angle R Let's, yeah, let's go back to a, a neutral color. It's not blue or green. Uh, angle R is going to be equal or congruent to angle U, which is um, the green one. The blue 2 and the green 2, if we match those up, it's going to be angle S is congruent to angle V, which is the green 2. And let's match up the green or the blue 3 and the green 3. So the blue 3 is angle T is congruent to the green 3, which is W, which are the angles. And then the sides are going to be congruent as well, right? <clears throat> so um, should we number the sides as well? I guess we should, right? So now that we've gotten those out of the way, let me erase these numbers. Well, actually, no, let's keep them there. Let's just change the color we're going to we're going to work with. So um, R and S, right? Let's go from 1 to 2. We're going to call this, let's use letters now, A, right? That's side A from 1 to 2. From 2 to 3 uh, is going to be side B. And from 3 back to 1 is going to be side C. So from 1 to 2, A, from 2 to 3, B, and from 3 back to 1, it's going to be C. So let's match up the A's here in this case. So RS is side A on the first triangle. This is congruent to um, UV, right, on the other triangle. Uh, and then side B is going to be uh, ST on the first triangle, which is congruent to V, W on the second triangle. And then lastly, side C is going to be uh, T, R, which is congruent to um, W, U on the other triangle. Right? Um, okay, so we have our six angles and our six sides. So um, since they are equal, by the way, looking at them, right, and how, how can we tell all well, these have one line so that's equal to each other this is equal to this one and lastly these two are equal to this one and of course the angles are easy to tell right since those are all equal to each other we can say that the triangles are congruent now a lot of work right um, as long as we can show that evidence um, then they are congruent Sometimes, though, we have an example like 2 where things clearly are not, right? And we don't have to go through the whole thing, or at least um, in, in terms of explaining it, I don't think you have to go through the whole thing. Why, why do all the work you don't need to do? So um, let's start off by numbering these things. Again, um, in alphabetical order, this is the first side or the first angle. Here's the second angle. Here's the third angle. Uh, e is going to be the first angle here, second angle here, third angle here. So let's match up angles 1. And right off the bat, B, 
uh, angle B is not congruent to angle E. Right? So I can automatically see that <clears throat> we're already off. And that's enough for me, right? Um, not congruent. Uh, they want you to explain because the internal angles are different, right? Now, as far as I'm concerned, as a math teacher, that's enough for me. If you can show just one piece of evidence that something isn't true, right, um, then, then I'm okay with that. And there are multiple points here for these two triangles uh, that can prove that, right? You can clearly see there's an angle of 78 that's different from angle 79, and uh, even the sides, you only, you only have one of these, right? You don't know what this side is, or this side is, or so on and so forth. So, um, Anyhow, there's a lot of stuff missing in question number two, or yeah, question number two, uh, for those triangles to be congruent. Okay, so let's jump to explain two and just jump into the problem here. It, we're going to be using algebra to solve these, and so let's just take a look at at the um, at the uh, triangles themselves. And again, uh, I like to num. I just go ahead and like to number these just right off the bat. J K L. Oops just because I feel like it helps me understand the triangles a little bit better and their orientation because math teachers love to just, you know, change the orientations to try to, con to confuse you. Uh, M, N, O, I, I'm, I would expect an O, but they just went with a P, so I'm going to say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So let's take a look here. Um, the angles look to be the same right angle one has one little angle line there angle n has two just like angle k does as well and p has three just like l has three right so our first second and third angles on both triangles have the same angle measures um and as far as i can tell between uh, the sides um they're pretty similar right this one is 15 which corresponds to this one which is 15 this one is 22 which corresponds to this one here's the one in question right we are given this uh, binomial expression and that's supposed to be equal to 32 right find the value that makes those two triangles congruent well then we have to prove that 4y plus 12 equals 32 we have to find a value of y um, that makes that equal so let's go ahead and solve this Subtract 12 from both sides. This goes away. 4y equals, what is this, 20. Divide both sides by 4. We get y equals 5. So the value of 5 that makes it equal is, uh, or sorry, the value of y that makes it equal is 5. Okay. So let's move on to the next question, or the next section here. Explain 2b, um, where we are applying properties of congruent triangles. Uh, let's see, question number two. We're just going to jump straight into the, the questions here. Mm, let's see, will these be CD? Um, angle one, angle two, angle three. EFG, angle one, angle two, angle three. Okay, just, just to help us with the orientation a bit. Okay, so I can already see some similarities here. The, the sides, right, between two and three, that equal. Those are equal between one and two. Those are equal, and then this longest side is equal as well. So the sides are equal already. And um, internal angles, right? Uh, between so angle G is twenty-five. So or angle three and angle three over here are both twenty-five. Angle two and angle two over here are both one twelve. And then we don't know what angle B is, but we are told that angle E is X plus. 17. So let's set up our equation here. X plus 17 is equal to uh, angle B. Let's call this. Um, oh, I know what we have to do. We have to we have to find this. We don't know what this is, right? So we have to use our knowledge of triangles to figure this out first. So I was going ahead, presuming like 
we could solve this, but we can't, or we can't solve it just yet. We have to find what angle B is first, right? We know all the internal angles of a triangle add up to 180, so 25 plus 112 plus our own known, let's call it Y, equals 180. So um, if we uh, go ahead and combine like terms, 25 plus 112 is going to be 137 plus Y. We subtract 137 from both sides. This goes away. We get 3, 4, 43 equals Y. So this is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, this is going to be 43 degrees. So now we have what we need. X plus 17 is going to equal 43. Okay. So uh, now that we've done that, do, do, we're going to subtract the 17 from both sides. This goes away. We get X equals um, 2. X equals 26. All right. So that is the value of X. Um, that that makes both of those triangles equal.